What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Tuesday to you guys. It is actually Monday morning around 9 a.m., and I am about to head to PA and take care of my business there. I have to do a mail run with the post office as well as my UPS packages and mail. Then I have a lot to do at my storage unit because I have to take a lot of things out of this van, including the storage compartment on top of the van and put into storage. And then I have to take a lot of things out of storage that I want to have with me down in Florida for the next four or five months. But right now I'm heading to the gas station and get some gas. I probably have enough gas to make it all the way up there and then I could have got gas up there, but you know, you don't want to get caught in a situation where it's a traffic jam and you're looking at your, your gas and all so thinking, oh Lord, I'm gonna run out of gas. Oh, they have firewood there. I wonder how much their firewood costs. Well, I don't need any firewood right now because the campground that I'm at don't allow you to have fire pits. They don't even have fire pits. Well, anyway, let me get some gas and I'll chat with you guys after I finish doing that. Stop number one complete. I picked up my packages from UPS. And now the post office. <sighs> she said, she said, you have quite a quite a haul here, sir. <laughs> she said, that's all yours up against the wall there. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. She said, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
sorry for licking my lips all the time because that stuff don't work. I should have put some more in there while I was out of the van. I'll do it when I get out the post office. So we'll go to the post office now. Hopefully it's not too bad because I know they like sick of me getting all these packages and all this mail and I gotta, I'm renting a small little box. So hopefully it's not too bad. Oh boy. Well, at least I didn't get a call from the guy, Chris, <laughs> and say, come pick up your packages. But anyway, I'll see you guys after I pick up my uh, mail from the post office. Whew. Oh my goodness. Wowza, wowza, wowza. I got so much mail. Oh boy. You guys are something else. Alright. I am hungry. Good gracious, girl. I am hungry now. I'm thinking I'm gonna go and get something to eat first and then go to my storage unit. My whole back is filled with packages. Wowza, wowza, wowza. <sighs> I am hungry. I, I keep forgetting that I have these gift cards and everything. So I do have a McDonald's gift card. So I am going to, of course, go use that gift card. I only want to be at the storage unit for about an hour. So hopefully I can get everything out and in. I don't know what I'm gonna do now because I got all these packages back there and I need to get that stuff out of the way in order to get some things out and put some things in. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to organize it once I get to the uh, storage facility. Hey, there's my plan A parking spot. <laughs> that I parked in for over a year. The same spot. <laughs> hey, there's the apartments I used to live in for two years. <laughs> Back down memory lane. Yes, let's go to Mickey D's and get something to eat. I'll probably go down to the park and eat so that I can situate these packages. Well, I, I'll do that when I get to the uh, storage facility. Woo! It's about quarter after 11, so hopefully I can be on my way back no later than one o'clock. There's the Planet Fitness and all the places that I go to when I'm up here in PA. Ah, me oh my. There's where I get my old change and everything from. Well, before I started going to Valvoline. But that's where I get my PA inspection. There's the grocery store that I go to when I'm just hanging out in this town. Giant. Whew. I should stop at that grocery store and get me some some type of snacks, but I only got one more day at the hotel, so ain't no need to doing that. But yay! I didn't have too much mail mail from either UPS or the post office. I just had like a ton of packages. I'm just gonna have to do a, a video and open up all these packages. All right, I don't know what I want from here. I will be getting me a Diet Coke since I haven't been drinking them. I've been pretty good with my Diet Cokes. So I'm getting one. I think I'll get a maybe a fish sandwich this time around. Cause sometimes their McNuggets here are hit and miss. Maybe I'll get a, um, a McDouble. Hmm. I'm not hungry, hungry. I'm just gonna get a sandwich and, and a medium Diet Coke. I'll get a fish sandwich. 
Where's my stuff to put on my lips? Because I keep on licking these lips. Like I'm seeing some eye candy out here. It never seems to amaze me how it takes one person so long to order, like it's their first time at McDonald's. Now somebody them came over there and look at that, they, they got their order before mine. I'm about to back up and get, what is happening with this? Good gracious. I'm so impatient sometimes. Wait, I might as well get the mirror. Yeah, can I get the uh, number six with a uh, medium Diet Coke? Medium? Number yeah. six with a Diet Coke? Yes. Mm-hmm. That'll be all. Would you like to run that to the Ryan McDonald's house today? Uh, not today. Seven ninety four to your first one, though. I do that all the time. Oh, it was seven ninety four. I saw seven seven fifty four up there. Okay, where's my wallet? I don't know how much is on there. Awesome. All right, thank you. Woohoo! Woo Pay with my card. Pay with my card. My gift card. Let me see how much. Let me see how much I have on here. Anthony, put your seatbelt back on. Oh, I got enough on here for another another meal. <laughs> That's good. Oh my shoulder. What's happening? Seriously, my shoulder. I be sleeping awkward on my shoulder because I told y'all I'm a side sleeper. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna grab this McDonald's food and I'm gonna head on down to, no, nah, I don't think I'm gonna head on down to the park. I think I'm gonna head on to this uh, storage facility so I can get things done and head on back. See you guys in a little bit. guys I am at the storage facility for those of you who are seeing this for the first time I love this storage facility because it's a drive-through somebody don't ding the door up All right, guys, I started taking some things out of the minivan and put on this cart here. Um, now I'm gonna get the things up out the top that I don't want to have with me. Oh man, this is a lot.
That's the main thing I wanted to get out was the tent.
boy. All right, now let's take this stuff that I put on this cart and take this down to my, my unit. Oh boy. I am beat. All right guys, the main thing that I took out of my storage unit compartment up top was the big orange tent. That took up a lot of space. And now that I've taken that out, I freed up a lot of space. Most of the things that I'm getting out of my unit, excuse me, but I'm tired. I lost my train of thought, but that's okay. I have a list on my other phone of all the things that I want to get from out of my storage unit and take with me down to Florida. So I don't even remember how this uh, storage unit looks. Cause I'm, I'm not sure if I went ahead and reorganized it before I left last. But let's see, let me get up in here. All right, it doesn't look too bad. So now I have to start getting the things that I want to take with me. And that's gonna be a chore because I have to move a lot of things to get to certain things, but it has to be done. So let me get into it. Okie dokie guys, I am done. And these are the things that I am taking back to Florida with me. I got my ice machine, my microwave, my gray storage ottoman, all of my movie stuff, the screen, the projector and everything, my little uh, bullet mixer so I can make me some smoothies, uh, my full-size gray topper because I'm going to put that on t underneath my main blanket because the sheet is just too difficult to put together every day after I slept on it and what else I got my I brought this grill I bought this two burner grill when I bought the kit from Canada and I never used it because I had all those uh, butane canisters to use up first so now that they are gone and I'm finding it difficult to even find the butane canisters so the green ones I can find easily. So I thought I'd go ahead and start using those outdoors um, at the campsite when I want to cook outside. So that's about it. Does, doesn't look like a lot, but the main things were my microwave and my ice machine and the gray ottoman. I don't know how often I would use the movie stuff, but it would be good to have just in case I want to use it. Now, back in here, I went ahead and put this stuff back in here as best I could. I'm a little tired, so this is as good as it's gonna get for now. I can still walk in if need be, but that's good for now. All right, I'm gonna put these things in my van and head on the way back. All right, guys, I am done. It's about 12.40 in the afternoon. I got everything situated in the back. You can see a little bit of the boxes back there. Uh, I'm a little bit exhausted, not too tired, but I'm glad that I'm on my way back so I can relax the rest of the day. I may do my laundry later on today so that tomorrow will be an absolute rest day. But, ah, that was okay. I went to the bathroom before I'm taking off. So I got that out of the way. So hopefully I'll be able to hold about uh, two hours. <laughs> I don't know, because I got, I got a lot of drink left. So we'll see. But anyway, guys, I'll see you when I get back to Baltimore.